What's up guys? This is your guy Mr. Evaluator and today what I am going to do at this very moment in this very second, I'm going to evaluate the debate that I've had with three of these people. Well not at least three of these people. You got the man behind the slaughter who pretty much calls himself the Arisen One and you pretty much got Lumos Theromax that do that guy and then you got versus the reason why i'm basically going to be talking about the three of these individuals is because we had a debate on a recap of all might versus captain america now in the very beginning of the debate uh what's his name the man behind the slaughter was the guy that made a claim about um thorough Ma well not Thero Max, he was basically using Captain America with the Infinity Gallant, as I basically shown him before. There were uh, possibly four other people that held the Infinity Gallant, and purposely the Infinity Gallant was given to him in order for him to basically fight the Beyonder, and pretty much uh, that was uh, just it to, up to the point. But he claims that Captain America can be All Might because his speed is infinitely fast. And goes out of the speed equation. He literally also made a claim in the debate and proven in that claim and in that state that Onslaught and Captain America equally both fight at the same range. Loomis Thero Max basically agreed and given him the win right along with Versus and many others that were listening to the debate that also muted their mics. They also agreed that Splash, uh, not Splash, that Slaughter won the debate because he made a claim, he brought it to a point and he proven it while me on the other hand was just making a claim disproving that Captain America is not that fast instead so when the debate was over they have the recording they finish with it he basically then after I asked him in return I told Slaughter uh, while I asked him I said is Captain America that fast does is he faster than the speed equation yes or no and he said no he only say that and none debates so if he's debating somebody he's not he's going to actually say that and he says that because he wants his opponent to look a lot stupid in ways they actually tell you that they're not saying that to make you look stupid they actually are saying that to make you look stupid when they made a claim about captain america being mftl pretty much like splash this guy that guy and him they all agreed that captain america the claims that splash was that not splash that man behind the slaughter was making was accurate and on point so therefore they given him the win also they also heard in return that he said that captain america is not that fast he only used that in a debate because he's debating his opponent and he wants to beat his opponent i'm pretty sure that's how they go in the debate when you make a claim with a character and say that a character is this fast or this strong that means the character is accurately that fast and strong once you prove solid evidence these guys has been on my tail from day one to prove with solid evidence to that any claim that I make about a character I prove to them and show them with solid evidence as on the other hand with behind the slaughter he only made claims and made a point to how and why Captain America will actually be this fast and infinitely faster than All Might and beat him in battle. But out of the debate, he said that he wasn't this fast. So all those people who were listening heard and actually agreed that Slaughter actually said this. But the only thing that mattered was you don't have to feel stupid because you lost the debate. Slaughter literally says that you don't have to feel stupid because you lost a debate. The only thing that matters is that the character or the opponent that's debating over the character doesn't need to feel stupid because they lost a debate. But we have behind a slaughter over here just said that Captain America is not infinitely fast. He only said that because he want to beat his opponent. Do you see where this is actually going? 
And also, I would like to make a little side note, Thero Max in return basically said that he's all about truth, he's all about solid evidence, he's all about people proving their point. So with him actually hearing the whole debate of uh, the man behind a slaughter making these claims that he's inevitably faster and he's outside of the speed equation he basically ruled in favor of him he claims that he's all about truth and later then on along the line he hears that the speed equation what that captain america is not outside of the speed equation and he just still along uh, agrees right along with it and i mean Actually, this is just absurd. I told you guys, you got to watch out for these noobs. These people will actually say anything. They'll actually do anything just to make their counter opponent look very stupid. And majority of the people that subscribe to their channel, you may as well say that you might as well not reach out to them because they're all brainwashed. When these guys upload each of their content on the video, as confirmed by a man behind the slaughter, he said he would never upload a YouTube video and and say that Captain America is infinitely fast and he's outside of the speed equation but yet he actually said this in a debate but he won't use this outside but he won't use this outside of the debate simply because he doesn't want to look stupid he don't want to actually look look like he's he doesn't want to actually look like he does not know what he's talking about when he really doesn't know what he's talking about i've been going back and forth with these guys like theromax theromax basically made another account on discord and literally called himself the head of star i heard his voice but he said you have no way to prove it and then this is when man behind the slaughter been going behind the panels and actually saying hey you're his clone i'm that clone he thought i he had a batman suit and I mean, these guys were just clowning all the way around. They basically knew who they were dealing with. They knew who were they messing with. They actually knew who they were actually even talking to. As I stated to him from before in the beginning, I said, Slaughter, you're talking to the evaluator. You're talking to the guy that basically read comic books for a living and evaluate from little to little, piece by piece, characters, the development, and the capabilities of the story. And the thing about this is just because Captain America is equipped with the Infinity Gauntlet, it doesn't mean it's his capability. Having a capability means the character has the ability to do so and, yeah, has the ability to do something that was later developed in the common basis of the character. So if you want to look at Goku's capability, if you want to look at Batman's capability, the capability of each character aligns on with the development of every character the infinity stone however with uh what's his name the infinity stone however that goes to um that goes to captain america does not align with his character in fact it was given to him to actually beat the uh, the, uh beyonder and actually go ham with beyonder i've even also dropped the panel below and actually showed there and actually showed them that Incredible Immortal Hulk was way stronger than Onslaught and Captain America took a blow and that punch wasn't even a city level destruction but they want to talk about that was just an attack point C blah 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 whatever but once again Hulk Immortal Hulk was stronger than Onslaught he took a punch from him and he caused his nose to bleed as I shown you in the previous video when I put Gon up against Hulk the point is that Captain America once again is not MFTL what these guys have basically shown in the middle of the debate you can make your opponents you can make anybody you're actually debating to or talking with looks stupid all you have to do is make a claim and just say something to make a point and they'll actually beat you in debate and take the win i never actually thought that thero max will literally kick himself in the mouth by saying he's only sticking with truth and he only goes with solid evidence when he knew behind the whole line of the story that there's no way that captain america was ever moving that at uh, moving at that amount of speed he actually even known that captain america is not out of the speed equation as i shown with flash the artists that basically drew the characters drew the background of the characters fighting they not only determined the amount of speed that they were fighting at but they also <clears throat> 
drew the background so that the readers who's reading the comic would know how fast they're going and know how fast they're fighting. This was the point that I also made about Captain America's speed. If Captain America's speed was MFTL or out of the speed equation or infinitely out of the speed equation, then there's no need for anybody to not lay a finger on him and touch him. This basically goes to show you that these noobs don't know what they're talking about. They only say things to make a point by from their own understanding just so that they can make their other opponent look stupid. Of course they're going to tell you that they're not saying that to make you look stupid. They're not saying that to make you look ridiculous. But all in all, in the long run, they actually are. If he knew that Captain America was not out of the speed equation, why would you actually bring that in a debate and say that he's infinitely out of the speed equation after you telling me that he's not in the, that he's infinitely not out of the speed equation. That basically tells me one time out of too many that the opponent that basically Slaughter and Theron Max was actually debating, well, since they were debating me, they only did this to intendedly make me look stupid. As I said from the very beginning, these guys were in the paint with the evaluator. You know who I am. You guys know what type of guy you're dealing with. And because you actually think you're going to credit me on my scaling, on my comics, on my feats and on my panels. You still de you still decide to play along with this stupid game because you actually think you can control me. In actuality, I proven I proven versus guy wrong. I proven Thero Max wrong and his noob logic. And I even also prove once again, man behind slaughter wrong in his logic. The reason why they given him the win because he made points and those points he made made sense. And the points that I was making didn't make sense. And I just did not have no way to run a counterclaim. They had this intendedly. They played this like a game. And theoretically, these guys don't even know what a debate is. So it wasn't even more of a debate. Once again, it was just an argument to prove your point. And, and yeah, it's only an argument to prove your point. Say something stupid in the long run. Once you actually validate that and make it seem like it's real, then that's the person that actually went in the first battle. I am going to let all of you YouTubers know who are new to my channel. Watch out for these guys. These guys have every intention to make you look stupid. They actually make, they actually even will make you feel like that you don't know nothing and don't know what you're talking about. They claim that they want you to show them solid evidence while they make a claim and don't show any solid evidence about the next character. When I evaluated Onslaught, I said the person Captain America was fighting, he wasn't fighting Onslaught at his full power because it also says in Do Comics that Onslaught had mo had other uh, acquired other multiple powers as well, and I'm not even sure that if Captain America is out of the speed equation or supposedly infinitely out of the speed equation, just because his brain processes a lot faster than the next person that he is, then that means he's a lot more faster than that person that is next to him. He's faster than the next superhuman, but simply they don't understand that. What Slaughter was basically explaining to me in the, in the point of the video, he was actually saying that, uh, what's his name? He was actually saying in the center of of that video that uh, um, the Captain America's brain is uh, quite faster than the next human, but he isn't because he's equally fast to the next superhuman. When we actually have a comic panel where he basically senses um, Hyperion coming down at his full speed and him dodging out of the way before Captain Am uh, before Spider Man senses could even detect that Hyperion was coming from above. This basically even disproves everything that he said, but yet he still claims that he's won and he didn't want nobody to feel stupid. The reason why he actually stated this and said this is because, regardless of how many points I was making, or regardless how many points that I was making to him, and disapproving he actually felt like on somewhere in the inside that he was wrong and that he knew that he was wrong and he was actually saying that because he overall wanted to make me look stupid this is what he was going for so i'm letting all you youtubers know i want you guys to watch out for this guy
uh, that guy, uh, yeah, this guy and that guy. They don't know what they're talking about. They actually post material for what they think it is and then apply their own analogy to it. You got to watch out for these people. They will make a claim and make it make sense. And the people that and the people that agree with them will say that they beat you in a debate. That debate wasn't even a debate. It was more like an argument, a sense. He made more sense than I did. Then he wins the debate. And this is what you have when you deal with YouTubers that don't know what they're talking about. So, um, uh, this is another guy coming in the debate. I mean, the video. So, if you have any questions or concerns, I'm exposing the noobs. There's a lot more people that I'm going to bring out. Stay in touch. This is your guy, Evaluator, out.